energy. Heaven and earth were identical, and everything was dark. Time did not pass because there was no concept of time. The pressure exerted by the earth and the sky on each other increased the energy inside the egg. In the midst of this nothingness, the Big Bang occurred and Pangu and dark matter were formed from the energy. Pangu found himself in a universe surrounded by chaos. Thousands of years had passed since the Big Bang. Billions of planets had formed, but no life had begun on any of them. Dark matter was enveloping the universe every day and chaos was increasing. The universe had come from eternity and was going to eternity. Pangu became very tired of fighting the dark matter and realized that the dark matter did not want to destroy him. It only wanted to take over his being. If it only wanted to kill him, perhaps it would have killed him already. In order to understand the reason for this, Pangu went on a journey through the universe and rested and thought for a long time. Finally, he found the reason. His own body would give life to the universe and life would actually begin with his death. That is why the dark matter did not want Pangu to die. It wanted to control him. If the only solution was to kill himself, Pangu would have done it right then and there. But then life would begin only on the planet or planets where Pangu died. For life to begin in the whole universe, a second Big Bang had to take place. Pangu made his plan. No longer fighting dark matter, he seemed to be running away from it. The faster the dark matter spread throughout the universe, the more chaotic the energy would become and the ground would be set for a big bang. Pangu was tired of running and the chaos was weakening his mobility. He sat down on a planet and began to rest. Death for life, he said to himself. He gathered as much strength as he could and let the dark matter take over his being. It was time. Dark matter fought back for the last time with all its might before it took over its entire self. The universe shook. Planets crashed into each other. Supernovas formed and the second Big Bang occurred. Pangu's body shaped the universe. Pangu's hair and eyebrows formed planets and stars and his eyes formed solar systems. His flesh became soil on the planets. His blood became oceans and rivers. His teeth and bones formed precious stones and minerals. The parasites living on it transformed into life forms on the planets. While Pangu was making all these plans, he was determining the physical laws of the new universe that would come after him and setting rules for the creators. The gods of all planets would come to life in limbo and choose their side. Either they would obey the dark matter or they would follow his path. The God who chose a side would never be able to change sides again and would never be seen again when his period ended on the planet he was on. Gods who broke the rules would be cursed in limbo. Pangu wanted to be fair and planned to establish a universe order, knowing that dark matter would never disappear. Pangu was sure that these concepts would surely be passed on to other creators who came to life in his body after him, and this came true. Pangu's body not only gave life to the universe, the energy released in the second Big Bang merged with parts of his body to form the phoenix, the blue dragon, the white tiger, and the giant black turtle. It began to mold itself according to Pangu's rules. The white tiger ascended the mountain of iron swords in limbo, guarding the birthplace of the gods. The phoenix provided all communication and checked whether the rules were being implemented in the universe. The blue dragon went on a journey into the void of the universe and no one ever heard from him again. The giant tortoise maintained the balance between the earth and the sky on the planets, preventing them from colliding with each other. Thus, life began to exist on different planets in the universe, just like on Earth, Delium, Gazion, Matun, and thousands of planets in different galaxies. Gods began to be born in the galaxies. There were those who obeyed the dark matter and those who followed the path of Pangu, just like Ra. Ra was not just the god of one planet. Ra was a god of the galaxy. He could control the sun and many energy sources. Because he saw himself as different from other gods, 
He did not want to disappear when his era was over. He wanted to rule the Earth and all the planets in the solar system. Ra wanted to be resurrected after his death and began to defy Pangu's rules. He considered himself superior to him and never believed in the curse. Ra succumbed to his arrogance and was cursed by the phoenix and imprisoned in limbo. The planets Earth, Delium, Gazion, Mata were at war. Delium was a planet in the primitive Stone Age. Gazion was the empire of the galactic system. Matun was the second largest planet after Gazion. Earth was in the 1900s. The Gazion's water supply was running out and it drew its power from the dark matter. Gazion contemplated invading Earth. All the gods of the world gathered. The world needed Ra, but Ra also had a plan. 